Hey everybody, welcome to our Crazy RV. So glad that you're here. Uh, we're back on another roof tutorial right now because that is what we're doing. And we're showing you how to put a turnabond to fix your roof leaks forever. Now, when you look up a turnabond, you'll notice two things. One, that it works really good. And two, it's stupid expensive. It took me forever to try and buy this stuff because it's like 60 some to $100 a roll depending on where you're getting it. Up in Canada, I'm sure you can get it for last on Amazon.com. We'll leave some links down below to different places where you can get it. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're actually, we've got, we were up on the roof. Uh, we redid the roof. We put some rubber coating on it. We redid the seams uh, last video. So if you want to look at that, uh, make sure to check that out on our channel. Uh, how to put lap sealant on and so now that everything is clean and everything is taken care of we're going to put the Eternabond over top and what that will do is it will completely seal those seams so that we won't have to look at them for another 15 to 35 to however many years so i want to know in the comments below please let me know have you tried this how does it work for you uh what's your experience with Eternabond? uh would you splurge on it those are my questions. Uh, let me see your answers down below because we'd love to hear it. A couple key things when you're putting on a turnabond is that you have to make sure that you thoroughly clean the seams ahead of time. You want to make sure the roof is clean, that the seams are clean so that it has a really good surface to stick to. So I have two sizes here. I have a six inch and I have a two inch. And the six inch stuff we're going to use on the front nose and the two inch I'm going to use in some of the other places, I think around the vent covers and things like that so let's get started installing this the couple things that I have up here really the only tools that I need are my, my roller and then I have brought up a, a utility knife and I also brought up a board for cutting on so uh, the first one's going to be the trickiest you'll see I did put lap sealant on today and it looks like it has hardened up enough that we can go ahead and apply this a turnabond right over top of it. So with our vent cover here we're going to want to start on the the furthest section and work our way back so that our uh, it goes with the wind. Start by working on the high side here and we're just gonna make sure that is good and try to work out all the air bubbles and then push it away. Get it down. So this will be our front piece. We want our front piece to overlap this so that uh, all the wind and stuff will be redirected over. And the way you put this on is you just take this and you peel off the backing. Like so, and don't stick it to itself, otherwise you'll lose it. It'll be done. Start with the high side and then work out all the bubbles. I'll just run over it with this tool. Get a little bit more air. Make sure it has a good seal. There we go. Vent cover is completely covered with the turnabond, and we're set to go. This is gonna. This has a max airflow. This has a max airflow that sits right over top of this anyway, so it's somewhat protected. But this will keep the water from getting underneath. Well, you can tell how professional I am, but uh, it, you know, I think it's going to be pretty good. Even though it doesn't look uh, amazingly perfect, I think it's good to go. Uh, I got a couple more left. This is the first night where it's actually been windy out, but uh, I'm not going to let that bother me. It's not too bad. It's been a lot more windy here. 
However, I think I kicked one of the nuts off of the top. I'm gonna have to go looking for it. But the sun is almost going down, so I gotta get this last little bit on and then we will be good to go. I found it. <laughs> it's right there. Yay, okay. We'll get that detached from that and uh, put that back on. That is how you apply a turnabon to the top of your camper roof, seals it up, never have to worry about it for another 20, 30 years, however long it lasts, we'll see. But I've done all of the seams and they all look really good and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Still gearing up for season four. A couple more weeks and then we'll start that off and we're pumped about it. So. Till then, we will see you in the next video.